ago today, but it will always feel like yesterday, 9-11, the terrorist attack on America that horrified us all took nearly 3,000 lives. We pause tonight to honor those lives, reflecting on how fragile human dignity and peace can be. And throughout baseball, today and tonight, we shall not forget. Hard to believe 14 years ago that all happened. Mark Grant, Dick Enberg, we're pleased that you've joined us. The opening game of a three-game series here in San Francisco. The Padres are 6-7 and seven against the Giants this year. Yeah, they played pretty well against the Giants. The Giants have gotten some struggles with the absence of some major players, but there's a couple of major players for the Padres who are making some noise in the month of September. Yeah, making noise with a barrel of that bat. Solardi, one of them. Jan Solarke, the switch hitter, usually we've been talking about always from the left side, but how about some good swings from the right side as well? During the 11-game hitting streak, the batting average, the slugging percentage, the on-base percentage, and striking some fear into the opposing pitchers. And hottest of all, Matt Kemp. Matt Kemp getting to the baseball every which way you can, down and in, up and away, with the home runs, extra base hit, slugging percentage, reach base safely, 30 consecutive games wide. He's laying off bad pitches, Dick. He's hitting the ball hard exactly where it's pitched. He is on fire. Well, the woes for the San Francisco Giants, you can point in a lot of different directions, but just in a short amount of time, we go back 12 games ago, the Giants were sitting right on the doorstep, only two and a half behind the Dodgers. How quickly things can change. Why? Because the pitching may have gone south, the hitting goes south, but for the San Francisco Giants, it's all about some key components. Yeah, the pitching not being able to hold teams, but when you don't have Hunter Pence, when you don't have Brandon Crawford, when you don't have Joe Panic, this is the results right here. So then the pitching really has to step it up. And when you talk about the last 12 games, the last four games on the road trip, they lost games two to one. There were the four games in that road trip losing two to one. So not being able to come with that key hit and Dick, it's all about key hits with Pence, Crawford, Panic. But those guys haven't been there for them. Yep, you lose that kind of talent and you're going to go into a seven game losing streak with not Buster Posey. He's still the number two hitter in the National League at 329. But there's the drop from two and a half out to eight and a half back. And it'll be interesting to see how the Padres pitch to Buster Posey. If he's a threat, just pitch around him and take your chances that way. You could describe uh, Matt Kemp's swing as sweet, right? Very sweet. Sweet Very and, and solid. Very nice. And you know, Mark Sweeney likes those terms. He knows swinging, that's for sure. Well, Mark Sweeney will take a look at Matt Kemp's dramatic turnabout here. 30 games in a row, he's reached base safely. What is it with that swing? Sweeney with the analysis when we return.
which team with a lot of new players you think by now but you never can do too much of it you know what I mean and uh, I think it was healthy. Brought to you by Kona Brewing Company. One life, right? Don't blow it.
Brought to you by Kona Brewing Company. One life, right? Don't blow it. Mahalo. By Petco. What we feed them matters. By Jack in the Box. For a limited time, try the new Portobello Mushroom Buttery Jack with melted garlic herb butter. And by Sony's Action Cam. Prove yourself. It's that time of year again when the rookies all get to dress up. There's a geo-bait theme going on the trip to San Francisco, and everyone participated. It was not just the rookies, veterans, and even Pat Murphy had a costume of his own. He was the warden, and he was taking orders on the team flight. I asked Pat why he participated. Usually the skipper doesn't do so, and he said they asked me, and of course I joined in on the fun. It's very important after six months of these guys working as hard as they have to know that that chemistry, and I'm willing to get involved. It's important to realize that these guys work for, for six months straight, a lot of times away from their families and all that kind of thing. And anytime you can bring that team building stuff or any type of levity into there, I think it's important. So I think that we had a lot of fun with it. And I think they know, you know, the limits of it. And, uh, you know, I think it brings everybody closer together, which team with a lot of new players, you think by now, but you never can do too much of it. You know what I mean? And uh, I think it was healthy. It certainly made for a fun team flight to San Francisco yesterday. And coming up next, it's Jan Hervisalarte looking for a dozen. He has 11 straight hits right now, and he's looking for that 12th one tonight. Will he get it? Well, it's Giants versus the Padres coming up next on Fox Sports San Diego. The home run ball with Jed Jerko joining Matt Kemp with that production. As we are set to go on a cool night. It's 30 degrees cooler tonight than the start of yesterday's game at Petco Park. 93 yesterday, 63 tonight. And the San Francisco Fire Department fire boat out there in the bay. Very impressive. And a nice ceremony done by the San Francisco Giants in Major League Baseball. Remembering 9-11. Nice job, a job well done. Yeah, the anthem sung beautifully in the fire department, honor guard, and the bagpipe being a drum and bugle corps. 
adding to the uh, somber message of this day. Padres uh, getting their act together here as we're about ready to begin the first of the three game series. So let's go right to the lineup. It's brought to you by Toyota. Will Myers will start things with Jan Hervis Solarte batting second. Matt Kemp in the third spot trying to extend that on base streak to 31 games. Justin Upton clean up with his 24 home runs to lead the club. Jed Jerko has hit four homers in the last eight games. Catcher Derek Norris bat sixth and Alexi Amarista at second base with Jerko at short. Pitcher Andrew Kastner bats eighth and Travis Jankowski in center field the rookie batting ninth. Hey, it's Orange Night for the Giants on this Friday, and enter a right-hander, NL Cy Young Award winner, 2007, three-time All-Star, Jake Peavy. You know, he's not the dominant Jake Peavy of the past, where he blew 96-97, but he will still challenge you. He throws the fastball, he'll cut it, try to create more movement and hit his spots for Jake Peavy. He's going to be around 88 to 93 miles an hour on that fastball. Here are the umpires calling the action in this series. Elias Diaz behind home plate tonight with John Tompain. James Hoy and crew chief Bill Wolke monitoring the bases. And the Giants defense is brought to you by Renovation Realty. Diazza over from the Boston Red Sox with a shortage of outfielders because of injury. Pence on the sidelines and uh, Blanco, Pagan in center, Bird, the veteran in right field, Duffy. Adrianza on the left side, Tomlinson and Belt at second and first, and Posey behind the plate handling Peavy's uh, offerings. Well, what a different defense it is because with the absence of the three we talked about this year, the Giants' second fewest in errors in the National League was 65. You miss your entire double play combination. Yeah. And Crawford and Panic plus Hunter Pence and what he brings not only with his physical play but the spirit of this team. That won the World Series just a year ago, three out of five years for the Giants, and that accounts for the fact another sellout, the 393rd consecutive sellout here at AT&T Park. Will Myers, well, you watch him just this last week, and you realize how his talent has been missed this year, not having him full time. Underway, and the first pitch is in there for a strike at 91. TV has never beaten the Padres. This is only his third start against his former team. He's five and six on the season. Ground ball to Edrianza at shortstop and one away. That'll bring up Jan Salarte. Eleven game streak for Salarte. That doesn't count one game where he did not have an at bat. He tossed that out, and didn't have a chance to get the base hit, but 11 in a row for the switch hitting third baseman. He's raised his average up to 276. That's more than respectable. Breaking ball inside. Third baseman Duffy way off the line. He's almost in the shortstop position. Yeah, on the pull mode here. Remember, Jake Peavy not throwing as hard as he used to, so maybe that breaking ball and cheating on that fastball, pulling it on the ground. That's what the Giants are baking on. Padres begin tonight, seven games under 500. They're 14 games behind the Dodgers, five and a half trailing the Giants. Looper into center field and out to get it. Audrey Anza, two away. How about our keys to the game, Mark Grant? Brought to you by your San Diego Honda dealers. Well, with Jake Peavy on the mound, you got to get to him early. Get to that bullpen and uh, hopefully put up some crooked numbers. Two quick outs, though, for the veteran right hander. And RBI for Kemp and Upton. I've used this one before, but it's pertinent. Potteries are 24 2 when Upton and Kemp both drive in a run. So it's very crucial. Don't you think they're professional? Yes, yeah, sir. It pays off. They're the heart of that lineup. They knock in runs. The Padres have more than a good chance to win. Kemp at 271. Hit his 21st home run yesterday. First ball swinging and a pop up shallow and right. Taken care of by the veteran Marlon Bird. A quick one, two, three inning for Jake Beebe. And here come the Giants.
Giants, the defending World Series champions. And here they are tonight. Their batting order brought to you by Hyundai. Angel Pagan will start it. Alejandro Diaz, a new face in the lineup. Acquired from Boston, Matt Duffy, then Buster Posey cleanup. Brandon Belt at first. Marlon Bird brings some power to the lineup. The veteran right fielder, Kelby Tomlinson, another young infielder already hitting at 300. Ray Adrianza, the shortstop, bats eighth, and then uh, Jake Peavy. And making his 28th start, 28 year old Andrew Castor. Hey, ahead early, put him away quickly, and stay on top of that two seamer. Well, Kastner, a disappointing record this year, 5 and 14. Posing hitters batting only 275 against him. He's received very little run support. And there's that 95 mile an hour fastball. He averages 94.8, the fifth fastest fastball pitcher in the National League. Hey Dick, I want to correct myself. I want to wish a happy birthday to the right hander. Yeah. He's 29 today, Andrew Kasher, so I stand corrected. Pitching on his birthday, the Conroe, Texas Comet. One and two. How about Andrew pitching on Mother's Day this year, Father's Day this year, and now his birthday? Maybe he should have the nickname Big Game, huh? <laughs> How about getting him a win? Give him some breathing room. He goes around strike three. That's a good start. Pagan out swinging. That's a great start for Andrew because there have been times this year where he gets ahead quickly, but then, you know, pitcher has no control over the foul balls, right? The pitch count gets up, but he puts them away quickly. And that's exactly what my scouting report said. Get ahead early, put them away quickly. And uh, he did it right there. Alejandro Diaz. Just three for 12 since he joined the Giants from Boston, hitting 261 on the season. Cashner's last start was against the Dodgers. He allowed only two runs and five hits. But got himself in trouble, remember, in the first inning when he walked two and hit one. And yes, Dodgers got a run without the aid of a base hit. Oh, he's got the slider working. You know, it's worth noting, uh, interim manager Pat Murphy did mention that Andrew Castor is fighting a little bit of the flu bug. It's going around that clubhouse. Tyson Ross had a little bit of a head cold working. Uh, Tyson Ross pitched like he was 100%. So, uh, the big right hander doing well, and there's that line against the Dodgers on Sunday. And another strikeout. He gets Pagan and Diaz, and here's Matt Duffy. And the Padres defense tonight, brought to you by your San Diego County Ford dealers. Kemp in right, up and over in left field with Jan Kowski, that big center field here at AT&T Park. Solarte and Jerko on the left side, Amarista and Myers at second and first. And Norris behind the plate for Kashner. Myers back with a big glove tonight. Duffy bidding for the National League Rookie of the Year. He has more hits than any rookie. And he's second in batting average with 299. Odubel Herrera has a better batting average, but Duffy collecting. 144 hits. Cal State Long Beach 49er. And up here where they call their football team the 49ers. 2 and 0. And that's over but low 3 and 0. He does everything right. Bruce Bochy just loves this kid. Not bad for an 18th rounder, huh? Yeah. Back yep. in 2012. That's a strike, three and one. Who says you have to be a number one pick to have success at the big league level? Matt Duffy getting an opportunity. There's Big Bo. He loves his third baseman. <laughs> yeah, the Arizona big early lead, second in. 
inning. They've already got six on the board against LA. There's that good two seamer from Andrew Castro. Darren Ballsy, the pitching coach for the Padres, said a big key for him is staying on top of that two seamer, not working on the side of it. You stay on top, you'll get more dip, more dive down and into the righties, like you saw there. Full count out to Duffy. 24 years young. And he's aboard on a walk. So two strikeouts and a walk. First base runner for the Giants. And that'll bring up catcher Buster Posey. Hitting 329. And he's had good success against Cashner. As a catcher, batting 304, but when he doesn't have uh, all that gear and the responsibility of calling a game, playing a more comfortable first base, he's hitting over 350. Yeah, definite correlation there. No doubt about it. That is not a coincidence. He's catching tonight. And hitting is not your number one concern when you're behind the plate. You want to make that pitcher comfortable, yeah. work a solid game, run the defense. Against Kashner, he's 10 for 20 and two home runs. There it is. First two pitches been kept away to Buster Posey, and the outfield playing to go the other way as well and deep. Three and oh. Well, it looks like he could have gotten a call there, working low, but didn't get it. Well, a couple of walks in the first inning last time out against the Dodgers betrayed Kashner. That's a strike, three and one. Just did get the call knee high on the corner. Up he goes, and it's ball four. Oh, a couple of walks after the first two men were struck out by Kashner. So here's Brandon Belt with two on, two out. It's now time for you to tweet your strongest fan photo. You know how to do it. Use the hashtag, hashtag SD Davis Strong Fan. You just might see yourself an upcoming broadcast brought to you by T Mobile. Hunter Pence here on the left. Uh, He's been battling injuries all season long. Madison Bumgarner, we'll see him tomorrow night on the mound. He's a, a 17 game winner already. 17 and 7. Number one in the National League in pitching wins. Brandon Belt, the batter. Nice first pitch slider for a strike. Belt with 17 homers. Against Kashner, he's five for 13 with a home run. One and one. Well, since August 11th, you see the average of 270 foot. Look at the home run, 17, but since Zilch, zero, Bagel. But the average is up. Well, that's a shocking statistic, isn't it? He needs to tighten that belt of his. <laughs> he has maybe two times. Yeah. Well, Cashner in front, one and two. And reports like that get around. Believe me, teams have access to video. They're watching how other pitchers are pitching to Brandon Belt. And once again, Andrew Cashner finds himself ahead, one and two. The guy on the left there, Darren Balsley, hardest working pitching coach in baseball. Duffy from second, Posey at first. Ooh, 98, a little extra on that yeah. fastball. Hoping that Belt would chase up and away, not the case. Where Belt seems to hurt you most is that ball low and in. Yes. He likes to golf. Yep. Marlon Bird next. That's why if you're going to throw that slider, Dick, make sure you get it down and in, something you can swing over the top of. Excuse me, foul. Well, the pitch count creeping up there. 
next pitch is 25 for Andrew. A couple of strikeouts and a couple of walks. That'll chew up some deliveries. Back with a two and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three and Kashner strikes out the side. One inning in the book here at AT&T Park. Jake Peavy against Andrew Kashner. No score. of the game she's wound up isn't she yeah hey not a good idea dancing on a boat where it might be wet and flip-flops <laughs> although I wouldn't mind seeing you bite the dust right there and provide a little enjoyment for us <laughs> hey be careful out there will you hey hey whoa, 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 hey 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 it's not exactly uh, Rockefeller Plaza material <laughs> Justin Upton leads off the second. Love the Rockets. Jim Jerko and Derek Norris to follow. Upton at 253 with a 24 homers. Mm. We mentioned the absence of Hunter Pence and what it does to this ball club. And here's the one loss evidence. When they have Pence in the lineup, they're 34 and 18 yep. this year without him. The 38 and 50. Integral part, no doubt about it. Ninety on the fastball, crowding up. Then two and one. Yeah, we talked about these Giants the last 12 games in our open. When you have no Pence, no Crawford, no Panic, and you lose two to one games four times on that 12 game span, that's uh, that's going to take its toll. Other players got to pick it up. Pitchers got to hold down the fort. Breaking ball and up them not close on that swing. Two and two. Meanwhile, the Dodgers seem to never lose, mm -hmm. although they are tonight well behind at Arizona. So the Dodgers move six full games ahead of the Giants in just a 12 game period. And a full count up to as the Padres look for their first base runner tonight. Ed Jerko on deck. This is the first stop of a three stop road trip that'll take them to Arizona, then Colorado. Justin Upton has had two pitches this at bat to do some damage. Not being able to get on top of him, following him back. Let's take a look at this last one out of the hand of Jake Peavy. What is it? It's a high fastball. He 
Jake's now 34 years of age. That ball is drilled. He didn't miss that one way back, and Upton will touch them all. Number 25 for the Padres cleanup hitter. Halfway up the left field bleachers, and the Padres take the early lead. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss, and when you hang the Oh, well, that looked like a hanging fa you, yeah, you can hang a fastball. I'll say it. You can hang a fastball. I've done it many times. How compact that swing is. Oh, and the sound. No doubt about that one. Almost looked like he tried to take a little off of that pitch. Maybe, to, you know, like a uh, BP fastball. So, one nothing San Diego. Jed Jerko, the hitter. You know, that might even have been a backup slider or something, whatever it was. It was right in the wheelhouse of Justin Upton. Right center field sounded like he might have broken his bat had the funny sound and Pagan puts it away for the first down. Back to Upton he had 29 homers last year in Atlanta 27 the year before so 25 with uh, 20 games to go. He might uh, even reach 30 this year as a Padre. Derek Norris steps up and Dick after further review boy Capper square the Diamondbacks and the Dodgers getting shut out Candy. It was a hanging slider out of the hand of uh, Jake Peavy after further review. They haven't given us the measurement on the distance, but that has to be in that 420 range. That was halfway up the bleachers. I think I just heard somebody say very far. The distance <laughs> on Upton's home run, very far. DF, huh? <laughs> one and one to Norris. 13 home runs for the Padre catcher slash first baseman. Leads all major league catchers in extra base hits. Melvin Upton Sr. there with Kemp on his left and to his right, Brett Wallace. Three and one. I'm going to have to give you one of those beanies. I love those. Keep the dome warm. That's a good look. Yeah, it works up here. The head, headwear. I wear beanies in the offseason all the time. Do you? No. At home? Yeah. yeah. When it gets cold? Does it get it. cold in Alpine? Oh. We've had snow there about three or four times. That are batting down the hatches yeah. that uh, El Nino's coming. Yeah, the big winds coming, tip over the double wide, got to put extra sandbags down. <laughs> Swing and a miss, and Norris. First strikeout victim of Jake Peavy. Time for our top tier player profile brought to you by Arco. Jake Peavy. Eight years with the Padres, number one in strikeouts all time. Second in wins, win percentage, opposing batting average. Of course, he won the Cy Young honor in 2007 when he went 19 and 6 with the league's best ERA 254. Is that a heck of a career? No doubt about that. Fun to watch, intense, passionate. He'll yell at himself. I love it when he yells at himself on the mound. He'll make a bad pitch. <laughs> Come on, Peeve. He'll be talking to himself. <laughs> 144 career wins. And Marista fouls that into the crowd. Two strikes on the Ninja. Playing second base tonight. Jerko at short, so those two have just switched positions defensively here in the last month. That one bounces well in front of home plate. So the Padres see Peavy tonight and the left hander Bumgarner tomorrow night. 
Sunday afternoon it'll be Mike Leak. Wired from the Cincinnati Reds. Right to the third baseman Duffy. But here in the second Justin Upton tags one high and long. Number 25. And the Padres have the early lead one nothing. At Yankee Stadium today in the city of New York, one of the many remembrances of a terrible act of 14 years ago. All the innocent people that were killed and the impact that had on all those families and on the city and our country. Marlon Bird. Signed after the July trade deadline in mid August, came over from Cincinnati for a minor league pitcher. That's his combined average in home runs 22. With the Giants, three homers, 18 runs batted in. Professional hitter. One and two the count. Another nice slider from Andrew Kashner. Looks like he's got a good feel for it. Got to left. Upton racing over to cut it off. Bird pulls up. He takes a big turn and good hustle by Upton. That had double written on it, but Upton chasing it hard, able to come up with it. And Bird was about 20 feet on his way to second base when he realized I better not gamble. First hit for the Giants. Well, let's check out what the pitch is from Andrew. It's a high slider. And the fortunate thing for Andrew is that Marlon Burke gets on top of that, hits it on the ground. Look at Justin Upton sliding, coming up, throwing. Throw was offline, but Bird couldn't uh, tell that yeah. it was going to be off, but off the bag. So he uh, settles for a single. That'll bring up Kelby Tomlinson. Here, another young player brought up from the farm system and producing. He's 25. Slider again. Tomlinson, like Duffy, 
Somebody did a good piece of scouting work. They got him in the 12th round four years ago. Looks like Jay Bell a little bit going back in the day. Pittsburgh Pirates wearing the glasses. Watch out. Ooh, late swing there. Looks like they might have been scouting him in the chemistry lab. Yeah. Studious look. Chemistry is important in this game. Oh, yeah. Beakers, Bunsen burners, test tubes. And Clark Kent look. Mm. Mm. Choke up on the bat, trying to get some back control. One and two. Tomlinson hitting seventh. Was called up by necessity because Joe Panic got hurt in the year. And they had to bring up Tomlinson. Came up with some big hits, but overall kind of struggling. And yet he still uh, checks out uh, 303 at the start tonight. Last 11 games, 206 for Tomlinson. So they're they're figuring them out. Two and two. Back to the mound. Kashner goes to second for one, but not in time to turn two. But they get the lead runner. One six on the force. I like how Andrew Kashner collected himself here as he grabs this high chopper. Watch him move his feet, get to some flat ground, a little crow hop. Throw sure to uh, third base side, but I think the even a perfect throw was not going to get Tomlinson. He can get down the line very quickly. Hey Ray Adrianza, 14 hits in 92 at bats. Well, Anders really, even though that pitch was a, a ball. He's really staying on top of that slider nicely, not working around it. Therefore, you get the good tilt. He's thrown all good ones tonight. There he goes. Norris's throw. Not in time. Jerko with a tag. Tomlinson's third stolen base. Well, Tomlinson has shown some speed in the minor leagues, as many as 49 stolen bases last year. And just gets his hand as he stay on the bag. Very crucial hand, foot, stayed on the bag. Jed kept the tag there. He's in safely. So with one out, tying run at second. And Cashner falls behind the hitter, 3 and 0. Pitcher PV on deck. And a four pitch walk. Third base on balls given up by Kashner in two innings. Well, here's the DL for the Giants. Matt Kane just activated tonight. How much he'll be able to pitch uh, the rest of the way unknown. Hunter Pence has missed more than half the season. Lincecum, some are wondering if his career's over. Tim Hudson's going to retire at the end of the year. Aoki, Panic, Pence, key players. All sideline. Yeah. But it in the air. And no play except there as TV gets the job done. Tomlinson moves to third. Adrianza to second. One four on the put up. Yeah, the eight starting pitchers for Bruce Bochy this season. Bumgarner, Vogelsong, Hessen have not spent time in the DL. All the other guys, like you mentioned, Dick Litzkin, Kane, Hudson, Peavy, Leak. And four regular position players have avoided the DL. Mentioned Posey, Belt, Duffy, Crawford. We told you that stat before with Pence. Terrific record 34 17. And without him, 38 51. 
That's a piston that's missing out of the Giants engine. Plus his play defensively, the way he runs bases. All right, here's the leadoff man, Angel Pagan, with the tying run at third. Go ahead, score at second. Two outs here in the second. Working from the windup. Pagan struck out swinging and a weak swing at a slider his first time. Pagan, only one home run all season. He's not 10 29. Inside at 97. That's a free and easy 97. He's touched 98 tonight. And I like if he's going to miss with the fastball in, miss in off the plate. Diazza is on deck. Tomlinson, the tying run at third. Adrianza, the go ahead scorer with a big lead at second. Well, he cannot turn on that inside fastball. Cash is just trying to eat him up with the heaters in. Hot race with the early lead. Justin Upton's long home run, the top half of this inning. Hey, Will Thrill in the house. Pretty darn good first baseman and hit it right there. And the count runs out again. The three walks already from Kastner, just the one hit, Bird single. Might see a breaking ball here. Forty five pitches to get five outs. And there it is. The line drive left base hit. Up with it is Upton. Here comes his throw to the plate. Going to be close. And they're going to get him. So one run scores. Upton makes two terrific defensive plays in the inning. He denies Bird a double. Racing to the line to cut off Bird single and then a perfect one hop throw there to a race Adrianza. So after two, it's tied up at one as Pagan delivers a single that scores Tomlinson. On to the third.
A 1 1 tie. Kashner hitting eighth, then Jankowski and Myers for the Padres. And the walk came around to bite a bit in the bottom of the second, but a strong throw by Upton saved a, a bigger inning. First pitch is wildly bounced to the screen. Kastner has five hits so far this year. See that last pitch? I don't know whether Buster, he's not having a discussion with Peavy, but that was the first pitch breaking ball. Not even close. It looks like Buster got it off the right toe. Great umpire at Diaz asking if he's okay. Okay, here's the pitch coming. It's a breaking ball, and, and Buster is the, not even close. Davey, a big Bama roll tide football fan. Still lives in Alabama. Over the, well, no, not over. PB spears it and denies a hit to Kastner. Both pitchers showing uh, good hops here in this game. Oh, pretty darn good athlete at 6 1. Jake Peavy, good feeling position. Now it's all about money. getting the spring and timely perfectly. Plenty of time to throw the rock over to first base for the out. Hitting ninth, rookie Travis Jankowski. Since called up 41 at bats, eight hits. Padres leading minor league hitter when he received the call to come to the big leagues. Hitting 335. And their leading base stealer. Talk about picking an outstanding player in the late rounds. PD was there until the 15th round. Fly ball on the infield. Adrianza, the shortstop, with a catch. Well, the inaugural pedal for the cause radio telethon is going to take place tomorrow, folks. We want you to get involved. It's coming from the set of the Pottery Social Hour beginning at 2 p.m. We broadcast live on Fox Sports San Diego and the Mighty 1090, and we'll run through the spin at the park and the duration of the Padres game tomorrow night against the Giants right here in San Francisco. Personalities from both F, uh, Fox Sports San Diego and uh, Mighty 1090 will join Jesse Agler as well as cancer patients, survivors, and researchers. So you can contribute to pedal the cause by donating through the broadcast. And get on the horn 1844 pedal SD that's P E D A L S D or by texting pedal to 41444 and we'll be updating you during the course of our telecast of the second game of the series as to the donations the total money that is being offered by you to fight cancer and all the money will go toward cancer research Will Myers grounded to short his first time. There's the information for you. So two o'clock, the telethon begins. Our game time for the pregame show here on Fox Sports San Diego at 5:30. Game time, 6:05. Ian Kennedy on the mound for the Padres, eight and 13 against number one guy on their rotation, Madison Bumgarner, 17 game winner. 3 and 0. Oh. And he swings at 3 and 0 oh and sends a fly ball to fairly deep right, but Bird is there on the track. And the inning comes to an end. 3 up, 3 down for Peavy.
And tonight's game is presented in HD by Sony. Cool evening. Temperature at game time 63 degrees. Ah, when the lights go down in the city. Love this city, don't you think? Oh, it's one of America's best. That's really a intercontinental charm. Diaz leads off the bottom of the third, the left fielder. Followed by Duffy and Posey. With Gregor Blanco concussion symptoms, he's not available tonight. So Diaz gets a start and with Pence out. Marlon Byrd was uh, picked up at mid August to try to fortify the outfield position. And he falls behind another hitter, 3 and 0. Walk 3. And the next pitch will be his 50th. And he's recorded only six outs. That doesn't bode uh, well for a long outing tonight. It sends an alarm to the bullpen. Strike there, three and one, but he's had four 3 0 counts so far. That ball lined to center field for a base hit. He went three and two to Pagan, and Pagan singled to tie the game. Well, a lot of names have been uh, talked about regarding rookies of the year this year. Boy, that's a good crop this year. We talked about Matt Duffy in our open for the game. Jack Peterson's kind of, uh, you know, the home runs and RBIs are nice. Dick, I like. Um, if I had my vote right now, I would vote Chris Bryant. Yeah, it's tough not to vote for him with those 23 homers. He's yeah. going to knock in a hundred runs. But uh, Duffy certainly deserves some attention. He'll get some votes, no question. I think he'll be in the top five. We showed you a nice crop right there of five rookies. We saw him back uh, here at AT. We were Andres were playing. Uh, in the spring, and he was hitting only 220 in May. He got a four hits in the final two games of the series, and he hasn't stopped since. And, and not bad for a, a kid who played shortstop, put over at third base, and, and playing a really good third base. And of course, the numbers with the offensive side as well for Matt Duffy. His 299 batting average, second to Odubel Herrera, the young outfielder with the Phillies, who we saw. And there's a base hit to left. Back to back singles open the third for the Giants. That brings up Buster Posey. Well, I talked to Bruce Bochy before the game, and one of the things he mentioned about Duffy is that he was able to get to the ball quickly on the inside part of the plate. Watch his hands here. He gets up on top of it. Serious top hand. Serious top spin through the hole on the left side. He will spank them to right field as well. He just does everything right. Nothing flashy. Smart baseball IQ as well. Posey walked his first time. Bryce Harper leads the National League hitters at 336. Posey there is the point ahead of D. Gordon of Miami. Infield looking for a ground ball chance at two. 0 oh and 2. That's a nasty two seamer bringing it back out of third. For Andrew. Posey in the midst of a 10 game hitting streak. 
20 hits in those 10 games. So he is swinging a hot bat on a club that has gone cold hitting. Able to check his swing on the high fastball. Well, let's see how many pitches uh, deep this goes. This at bat. Had him ahead 0-2. He tries to go up the ladder 1-2. We'll see if he can put him away here or have him hit it on the ground. Yeah, the pattern of late getting ahead of hitters 0-2, yeah. and then the next thing you know, a couple of fouls, couple of, and he's did a 3-2 count. Yeah. Two and two. And, and, and that's just classic Buster Posey what we saw right there. He can recognize a, a pitch with the best of them, realize that pitch starting outside, ending up outside. A lot of other hitters with two strikes will swing at that pitch. A 1 1 tie. Diazza and Duffy with singles. And a Buster Posey base hit. That'll get Diazza home. Racing to third is Duffy. And it's two to one, San Francisco. Posey delivers again. That's four straight hits now for the Giants. Remember, the last inning ended on Pagan's base hit. And the throw is up to the, the plate. Had a 0 2. That looks like a high slider, a high cutter, something up, something to get Posey extended. Almost one hands that ball, but the shift on the infield, you see him shifting over to the pull side. Buster beats the shift. It's a pitch up in the zone, and the Giants are adding on. Duffy winds up at third, Posey at first, and Brandon Belt. Left handed hitting first baseman with 17 home runs steps in. Marlon Bird to follow. Padre infield back. Well, let's sacrifice a run for a double play chance. 96 on the fastball. It just you just marvel when you see the stuff that Andrew Kashner possesses. That this man is five and fourteen on the season, and he's fallen behind tonight, two to one. Yeah, and with the stuff of Andrew Kashner, you would think quickly ahead and put him away with that slider, either that located fastball, but working some deep counts early on in the game. The first inning was nice. Except one and for, one, except for the two walks. And we go back to Buster Posey. If you're going to try to go away on him or up and away, you better get it up to where he's going to fish for it. That one just got too much of the strike zone, and enabling him to extend and pull it. If he was playing a little bit to the shift side, and he hit it on the second base side of the shortstop. Fouled at the plate. Another piece of the right hand of Derek Norris. Posey's RBI is 83rd. He leads the Giants. So you want to be a catcher, huh? Got him in the hand. Got him below the belt. Laz Diaz uh, having a little discussion with Andrew and giving Derek Norris a little bit of time to collect his thoughts. And to get his breath back. Ahead on the count, one and two. Struck him out. Second time he's gotten Brandon Belt swinging, one away. Andrew with the 97 mile an hour cast to Brandon Belt. Rear back, stay on top, let it fly. Marlon Bird singled his first time through the left side. 95 mile an hour pitches, 30 of them already in the game. Wow, that's some uh, that's some serious giddy up from Andrew Cash. You gotta locate that though, right, Dick? You gotta locate that 96, 97. Jerk our way over into the hole at shortstop. Big area right there. Up the middle. Bird single was to the right of Jerko between Jerko and Salarte. First time up. And he goes the other way for a base hit. Duffy walks in with another Giants run. It's three to one. 
Bird is two for two. Posey stops at second. Still only one out to Kelby Tomlinson. Talk about making an adjustment on a pitch that's a different part of the plate. Even Andrew Casher is shaking his head on this one. Look at this pitch here. It's a two seamer down and in, and Marlon Bird just drops the head. Almost like swinging it over the line on Fiesta Island. And singling to right. Last 10 batters have produced six singles and three runs. Goes to the breaking ball to Tomlinson. Giants are good with men in scoring position. They're the best in the National League. I'll tell you what, in the media guy, Kelly Tomlinson's listed at 180. If he's 180, I'm Mr. America. Hmm. I mean, he, he's got to be 165 soaking wet. Looks like he's got about a 20, 28 inch waist. Looks like he's got a coat hanger in that jersey of his. I don't know who's skinnier, him or Johnny LeMaster. Johnny Bone, maybe he should be Bones Tomlinson. See, he's 6'3, so there's a little more yeah. weight there with his height. Look at those legs. Look at that count, three and one now to Tomlinson. Two on, two runs in, still one out here in the third. Back to the mound, should be two. There's one. Back to, no. Nope. That's on the transfer. The runner is out at second, but no double play. Tomlinson safe on the fielder's choice. Posey goes to third on the play, two away. Snap throw. Perfect throw right at the belt buckle. Jed Jerko just couldn't make the transfer. And you know, once again, I think Tomlinson beats that out. He, he was getting down the line pretty quickly. Yeah, Tashner didn't exactly catch whirl and fire. Mm -hmm. He took a little skip in there and his uh, sub fastball out to Jerko. Adrianza, the hitter, takes a strike. Look at this throw here, right to the chest, right to the belt buckle of Jed Jerko, and on the transfer, can't find the handle. Good block by Norris. Try to get out of the inning here with just two on the board to break the one-one tie. Again, he's been battling a mild case of the flu. Tyson Ross yesterday the same. He didn't make any excuses, didn't say that's why he gave up three home runs, but Ross wasn't at 100%. And still pitched well, only gave up four hits. Unfortunately, three were home runs. Cashman's gone over 20 pitches in each of the three innings. 70 total. Runner goes. And no play. Tomlinson steals without a throw. His second tonight, four on the season. Oh, pretty good jump. Flash look. PB is next first base open. Did the steal take the bat out of the hands of Adrianza? Three and one now to him. He walked the first time, Adrianza. This is the seventh three ball count for Cashman. Full count now. 
Let's check our Chalula flamethrower. Well, with the Conroe Comet on the hill, Andrew Kastner, he's pumping it up to 98. Oh, you talk about Mui Picante. Sure, it's hard. Padres trailing by two right here. That's hot sauce. And another walk. And with the pitch count getting up there, Odris Mir Despagne starts to heat up for the Padres in their bullpen. Eighth man to bat in the inning is Jake Peavy with the bases loaded. Peavy sacrificed his first time. Not a bad hitter. He always got his share of hits. Five for 26 this year. Has a couple of doubles. One and one. It looked like kind of maybe tried to overthrow that one there at 97. Posey at third. Bird at second. Adrian said at first base. Check that it's Thomason in second. That's in there, one and two. It's not free and easy that delivery there. I mean, every pitcher does it. It's inevitable. You try to overthrow a pitch. That one that tells me Andrew is making an adjustment and just letting his natural ability take over, hitting the corner at 96. Foul tip. Just got a piece of it. Out. Strike three. The bat goes flying out toward shortstop, and the inning is over. Five strikeouts for Kastner, but the Giants get two and take the lead. time of the season for the rookies to be dressing up but it's also that time of season for fantasy football in the Padres clubhouse 
has a league of their own. I asked the guys who were the top five picks, and here it is. Yonder Alonso, who is on a solo team, picked Adrian Peterson first. Melvin Upton with Austin Hedges picked Levon Bell. We got Brandon Maurer and Mark Kotze with Eddie Lacy, Sean Kelly, and Spencer Dolan with Marshawn Lynch. And, of course, Darren Bosley and Josh Johnson with Andrew Luck. And Darren Bosley and Josh Johnson are looking for their third season in a row to take it all home. And, guys, I have to say, I picked Andrew Luck as my top pick, so I'm kind of happy about that. Did you guys pick anybody for your fantasy football? Well, we're just too tied up with baseball. I wish we did, Dally. I, you know, I was going to go with Charlie Trippy. Well, I, I, I was thinking about going with uh, Dick Butkus. Yeah, that's good. Hey, we ought to collaborate. We probably, these guys wouldn't have a chance. No chance. With your knowledge of the NFL, come on. With my knowledge of nothing, Andrew Luck, that is a good pick. Down to the fourth, it's Salarte, then Kemp and Upton against Jake Peavy. The Padres have one hit, a big one, a home run by Justin Upton. The Giants with six singles already, plus four walks, so ten base runners in three innings, and they lead three to one. Salarte popped up to short his first time. Left field, that chases Diazza into the gap and one away. Matt Kemp fly to right his first at bat. We got a game break coming up from the Bronx. Jays, Yankees. Yeah, that's a series. That is a big series. First place at stake in the East. Well, yeah, all the news in New York uh, not good, and that score for Yankee fans. And so bring. But Serena Williams defeated in the semifinals today by an unseated player, the veteran Roberta Vinci, defeating Serena, who took the first set and was up a break in the second. That just is a, a stunner in terms of recent tennis history. I mean, that's one of the biggest upsets ever. Oh, that's a big league hangover. <laughs> Not when you're going for the grand slam. That's it happens to the best of them, though, right? Heartbreaker. That's why you play. You can't, just yeah. can't phone them yeah. in. There, you got that right. <laughs> and and now the the fans of the Open, who the the women's final sold out long before the tournament even began because right. they anticipated Serena might win the calendar slam and they wanted to be there. Instead, they're going to see Flavia Panetta and Roberta Vinci, two Italian women who grew up. Just an hour drive really? from each other playing for the U.S. Open title. Well, they can go to the uh, Arthur Ashe Center and get a, uh, a suntan. There you go. And watch a little bit of tennis. Panetta is seated 26th and Vinci beating Serena unseated. Wow. That is a big upset, isn't it? Incredible. And that's what makes sport, and it doesn't matter whether it's baseball or football, basketball, tennis, golf. If you think you can write it down before it happens, yeah. then you're a fool. That's why I still think the greatest upset in my lifetime is when the USA beat the Russians in the uh, at Lake Placid. 1980, and in fact, some of the announcers were comparing in a group of big upsets. That would certainly be one yeah. of them. Tip caught. And Kemp is still looking for that on base to extend his streak to 31. Since the All Star break, this triumvirate of Jerko, Kemp, and Upton, mighty productive. 24, 34 home runs from the three since the break. You know, I wish those numbers were from early April. Right, and then and then some. Get the Padres out of the gate yep. better. I mean, they did start ten and five, but then quickly fell below five hundred. Upton sailed that long home run. Well, here it is. In case you missed it, that was a three-two slider right down the middle, and Justin Upton was all over it. On contact, 106 miles an hour. That is a major league clout. Number 25. 
Now let's see if PV pumps fastballs to up and tries to keep him down the way or well in off the plate. Might be one of those situations if you throw him a slider, might overcompensate a little bit and bounce it. High in the air to right center, long run for Bacon, but he's there. And PV has retired eight in a row. All right, Mike and Mark, it's three to one Giants here in the bottom of the fourth. First ball swinging is Pagan, and he's out for three. As we check our National University standings tonight and the American League East, with Toronto and the Yankees fighting for that top spot, and with a win tonight, the Jays are up by two and a half. Tampa Bay, Baltimore, and Boston, their hopes fading quickly. The big glove out there in left center field, one of the landmarks of AT&T. Love that. Now, Kastner, after 80 pitches to get through three innings, had to smile at Pagan swinging at the first pitch, and so does Diazza. Shortstop Jerko. So, two pitches, two outs, after it took 80 pitches to get three innings in the book for Kastner. And I will bet you the ranch, I will bet you my mortgage, I will bet you. No, don't, don't don't go there. The two dollars in my pocket. Oh, that, I knew you wouldn't go there. That Matt Duffy will take the first pitch. <laughs> Thank goodness your wife and children escaped. <laughs> I was so fearful you were going to go all the way on this. Hold your breath. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You win again. Yeah. Your streak is better than Kim. I tell you, if somebody has a three-pitch inning, somebody's getting fined. That third guy that comes up swings at the first pitch, you're getting fined. And even at that, Kester doesn't throw a strike. Right. There you go. One and one. Duffy has walked and single scored one of the runs in the third. Buster Posey to follow. And this is low, two and one.
Padres took the lead in the second on the home run by Upton, his 25th. But the Giants tied it in the bottom of the second. And the Padres got a great throw by Upton in left field to deny another run. With uh, Adrianza thrown out at the plate. And they sent eight men to the plate in the last inning. Four singles and two runs left the bases loaded. Two and two. Strike three call. So a seven pitch inning. That'll make Caster and the Padres feel more comfortable. We've completed four. Brought to you by Saquon Casino. Play, win, together in the heart of San Diego. By Hotel Transylvania 2 in theaters September 25th. And by Dollar Shave Club. Shave time, shave money. Back at AT&T Park. Golden Gate City. Jet Jerko leads it off. Jake Peavy has not walked a man, struck out two, allowing only the one hit the home run by Upton. Jerko fly to center his first time. Hits that one on one hop to Adrianza. One pitch, one out. That's only the 47th pitch thrown by Peavy. In contrast to Andrew Kastner. Yep. He's had an easy time. Of it. Not overpowering at all, Dick. Dyson and Slice on both sides of the plate, working the two seam fastball. He'll cut it once in a while, mix in a breaking ball. Derek Norris struck out swinging the first time. 3 1 Giants here, top of the fifth. Jake Peavy knows he got squeezed on that last one, but he knows that he's got to stay out of the heart of the plate. I've been watching the radar gun 90 91 on the fastball. And that was a pitcher strike. Yeah. Ground ball toward the hole. Adrian's a long throw. And gets him. Brandon Belt at the receiving end completes the play. That's a major league throw from the outfield grass by. Adrianza, the nail fast running catcher. Yeah, why does a shortstop need a strong arm? Just because of this play right here. Watch Adrianza on the left side there. It goes to his right. Plants that back foot. And then Belt has to stretch towards the outfield. He stays on the bag. Get up on top and let it fly. Is he on the bag? Looks like it. That's a good play at both ends. Yep. Amarista lined out to third his first time. So Jake Peavy on a roll. 11 straight outs for the right hander. Broken bat ground ball to the other hole closed by Tomlinson. 
And another one, two, three inning. Boy, he is mowing them down in a hurry. Five pitch inning for Peavy. That's our memorable moment in baseball history brought to you by Geico exactly 30 years ago today. He rose collecting hit number 4192 passing Ty Cobb the all time major league hit leader and he got the hit off the Padres Eric Shaw with Bruce Bochy behind the plate. Buster Posey. He's walked and drove in a run with a single. There's Big Bo. Part of history. Making his own history up here as the manager of the Giants, three World Series titles in five years. Hey, Big Bo was another part of history in the Astrodome as a catcher for the Houston Astros, getting barreled over by Pete Rose at home plate. Remember that play in the NLCS? The winner goes to the World Series 1980, Philadelphia Phillies. Big Bo got Pete Rose coming in at you hard. Knocked him in the next week. That's a pretty big man. Yes, it is. So he ran like a fullback. Ground ball sharply, but at the shortstop, Jerko. One away. Brandon Belt. Up twice, struck out twice. Again, tomorrow, our game time. Just after six here at AT&T Park. So we'll be on there at 530 with Padres Live, the pregame show. Ian Kennedy against Madison Bumgarner. And of course at 2 o'clock the telethon begins. Arizona with an 11 nothing lead in the fifth against the Dodgers. And Candy the Diamondbacks bats are coming alive in Copper Square. Some of the Diamondbacks they've got three of the top nine hitters in the National yeah. League. Peralta Goldschmidt. And Pollock are all oh, hitting yeah. over 300. Padres go there next. And then on to Colorado. And after this road trip, come home for the final homestand. The final homestand, three with the Giants, three with Arizona, and three, go figure, with Milwaukee. Oh, it's only logical, isn't it, Dick? Close out your home season with the Milwaukee Brewers. Yeah. Makes sense. Remember back in the day in the month of September, it was solely your own division. And that's when the races came down to head to head matchups and Boy, he's some serious scoreboard watching because every game was within the division. Yeah. Padres then will close out the season at LA against the Dodgers final weekend. Another high deep drive foul off the bat of belt. 
we talked about the schedule for 2016. The Giants open in Milwaukee next year. So out of the division for the Gigantes in America's Dairyland. Padres will open next season at home against the Dodgers. Then I think they go to Colorado and Philadelphia there. Yeah, that makes Philadelphia's sense. home opener yeah. against the Padres. This one may stay fair down the line up and into foul territory and can't, can't make the catch. A good Had his glove on it. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Justin Upton is doing quite well tonight, considering interim manager Pat Murphy said before Thursday's game, he had a couple of ingrown toenails removed. Looks like he's doing pretty well, though, on his feet. The dogs are feeling A OK out there. And he had the barrier coming. He had fans reaching out in front of him. Couldn't quite tuck it away. Two and two to belt. The Spanier going to go down and get loose again. Kastner's due to lead off the top of the sixth inning. And he's two pitches away from the century mark. Another full count. The Dodgers has walked four tonight. Struck out six. And he walks another. That's five walks. It was one and two. Yep, the bill. Took him ten pitches and finally the free pass. He's over the hundred mark now and tosses. I'd like to see him get through this fifth inning so you don't have to use another pitcher because you got the pitcher leading off the six mm -hmm. and a pinch hit for him. Here's Bird. Two for two, single to left, single to right. Is a player that they've uh, borrowed for the final six, seven weeks of the season, hoping they could catch the Dodgers. Might be a free agent after the end of the season. Always seems to find a home. Marlon Bird is a good hitter. Yeah, he's a good guy to have on the team. Veteran presence in that lineup. It's that kind of year. Well, there's going to be a lot of free agents. There's going to be a lot of movement of players in the offseason. Off Got to be careful with Marlon Bird if you're throwing that breaking ball. Don't hang it. Don't hang it to speed up his bat. I think Andrew Castro can work down in the zone with a good two seamer. Trying to induce a ground ball. There you go. Looks like a changeup at 86. Bird is an employee of his 10th team. Talk about making the circuit. Yeah, modern day suitcase Simpson, right? Yeah, that's right. 14th year in the big leagues. One and two to Brandon Belt walked him now. It was one and two to two and two. One out here in the fifth. And he get through five, but already 104 pitches. How about a grounder right here? Yes, did he did. Yes, he did. Strike three. That's the seventh strikeout for Kashner. 146 on the season, a career high. 
Tell you what, on the check swing here. Oh, he hits that one at the double over the gap. Brings up the rookie, Kelby Tomlinson, who was twice grounded into a fielder's choice and then stole second base. Belt has nine stolen bases. So two outs, you got to keep your eye on him. Despagne just lobbing the ball down the bullpen. He's ready if needed. Yeah, he's throwing a no hitter down there. Giants three, Padres one. We're in the bottom of the fifth, two outs. Belt at first. Has been successful all night getting that first pitch strong. Yep. Just been haven't been able to wipe him out early. First two batters of the game, Pagan and Deaza. He took care of them quickly. And again, he's ahead early. Two strikes on Tomlinson. Well, Tomlinson not really known for his hitting in the minor leagues through his years. Drafted in 2011, only a 259 career hitter, but the speed. 105 stolen bases for the kid in the minor leagues. One and two. That last slider not close enough for Tomlinson to really bite at that pitch because it was a bouncer outside of the strike zone. Andrew needs that slider just off the plate and then ends off the plate just a little bit, enticing that that hitter to swing. You know, it's like the 0-2 curveball, right, Dick? You just don't throw it to bounce it not in front of home plate. Man. You know, big league here is going to spin on that, wasting a, a pitch. Exactly. Still the advantage to Castor one and two. Let's see what he does here. Misses outside. Little slider. Three runs, six hits for the Giants. One run on one hit. Just an Upton home run for the Padres. Ground ball right side by the diving Amarista. Belt will hold it second. Well, Tomlinson wins that battle. Two on, two out to Adrianza. Well, he fisted him right there. He got it in on his fist and he just pumped it to the right side just out of the diving Amarista. Fastball. It looks like he wanted it down. Anyway, shuffle, shuffle off. And with two outs, he's off right just out of the reach of Amarista. Adrianza up twice, walked twice. Number eight hitter. Then put on both times. Ball one. Tastner trying to get through five. Andrews thrown as many as 121 pitches this year. That was back against the Nationals in the nation's capital. Three starts ago. Small second deck here at AT&T, and we're positioned our broadcast booth in the back of the second deck. And an intimate feeling, we're really close to the fans. Oh yeah, I love it. And that ball came flying back to some hands, hit the press box, and tear him down. Good play made. 
One and one to number one, Adrianza. Check swing foul. Okay, you see, just a what, maybe ten rolls. Yep. There's the professor. Here's Shar, our stage manager. Yeah. Here's Tommy, our A2. Here's Bo, our statistician. Give him away, Bo. Good, good egg right there, Bo. Yeah. There's Bo and Big Bo's down in the Giants dugout. Up the middle base head, Adrianza. That'll score Belt over the third Tomlinson. It's four to one. Now well, the 152 hitter, Adrianza, has walked twice and singled in a run. And the walk comes around to score. Looked like a, a just a breaky ball, lazy breaky ball that was just going up there, kind of spinning. Really didn't have sharp action to it. You speed up the bat of the switch hitting Adrianza. That right-handed slider coming into the left-handed hitter. And Pat Murphy is perched in that dugout. He wants Cashman to finish this inning. Eight singles and five walks, four runs. Beebe has struck out and sacrificed. First pitch in the dirt wide. And another rocky outing for Andrew Cashman. And PD with a base hit. Another run scores. Tomlinson in. Adrianza over to third. Not like a broken bat, but Peavy gets the job done. That's his second RBI all season. A five to one game. He's got to go get him, I think. Don't you think? Yeah. He didn't want to because it now means he's going to have to use an extra pitcher. It'd be a double switch here with the. Uh, Spangenberg going to replace Amarista. And in comes Despagne. Tashner exits with the Giants in front, five to one. We want you to take part in at the inaugural Pedal the Cause Radio Telethon. It's going to play, take place tomorrow at the set of Padre Social Hour beginning at 2 p.m. We want you to get involved. It will be broadcast live on Fox Sports San Diego and the Mighty 1090. 
He's going to run through the spin at the park and the duration of the Padres game right here in San Francisco. Personalities from Fox Sports San Diego, the Mighty 1090, will join Jesse Agler as well as cancer patients, survivors, and researchers. You can contribute to the Pedal the Cause by donating throughout the broadcast by calling 1 844 Pedal SD or by texting Pedal to 41444. So, oh, Dresden with Despagne in our El Cajon pitching change, El Cajon Ford. Angel Pagan, the leadoff hitter. So, the Giants in five innings have hit around three times. Now, have built their lead to 5 1 and have runners at first and third with two outs. Pagan, an RBI single and three trips. Here in the inning, after Posey grounded out, Belt walked, Bird struck out, then Tomlinson, Adrianza, and Peavy all single for two more Giants runs. Two and one. Well, with the double switch, now uh, Despagne is going to hit in Amarista's spot, so. Spangenberg will lead off. It gives a chance for Despagne to throw a few innings if possible. Yeah, at least a couple. Maybe three. Try to check the Giants here at five to one. Three and one. Alejandro Diaz on deck. Broken bat, ground ball into the hole. That's a very tough play. Can they get the force? Yes, they do. And the inning comes to an end. Two more runs for the Giants on three hits. They leave two. After five, the Giants a four run lead. Long home run in the second inning is 25th, but that's the only hit the Padres have off TV tonight. Back come the Giants. RBI single by Pagan. It's 1 1, and Upton nails the runner at the plate and denies the go ahead score. But next inning, RBI single Posey made it 2 1, and then Marlon Bird singled the other way for another RBI to 3 1. Then in the fifth inning, Adrianza. Belts a single up the middle, and then Jake Peavy would follow with an RBI single to right field and a five to one lead. Cashner then goes four and two thirds, nine hits and five walks, gives up five earned runs. Peavy has retired 12 in a row since Upton's home run. And the only bright spot for the Padres thus far. Spangenberg bats for the first time against the veteran Peavy. 
Looking for his sixth win of the year. Padres trading Peavy to the White Sox. We'll get into that in a moment. The starting pitchers at home, Peavy and Bumgarner, 17 and 5 since August of last year. All others are just 500. Spanchenberg flares that into the crowd. Well, we know all about that kid right there, Madison Bumgarner, and what he is able to do. But Jake Peavy, you know, it's almost a, a case of Jake Peavy kind of reinventing himself because he doesn't have that power fastball anymore. He has dealt with injuries, his back, his arm. I mean, he's been up and down as far as that's concerned. But he's a battler, man. He goes out there yeah. and, and uh, bulldog. Yes, he is perfect. There's a drive to right field. The bird over and makes the catch. Spangenberg spanks it hard, but to the right fielder. 13 straight retired now by PV. So you Padre fans think back when he was traded to the White Sox, who came over from Chicago in that trade? Four pitchers, only one who produced any time with San Diego. Clayton Richard. That's right. Clayton's trying to make a comeback this yeah. year. And three minor league pitchers that never made it to the big club. Jankowski to left field and another out. Diazza chases it down in foul territory. Well, that's great concentration by Diazza because he's got those mounds out there to contend with. So the two young rookie left handed hitters, Spanchenberg and Jankowski, quick outs here in the sixth. 14 mowed down in succession by PB. Well, we've got a game break coming up from Citizens Bank Park in the city of brotherly love. Phil's Cubs. Will Myers has grounded to short and sent a long out to right field. Look at Jake yelling himself. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what he can do? He can regroup. Look at him. <laughs> he golden. Yeah, himself. he can regroup and uh, make an adjustment on the next pitch. One and one to Myers. But for one pitch, he'd be perfect through five and two thirds. He upped in home run. He hasn't walked anyone. Struck out a couple. Just 58 pitches. Floats one in at 80. Talked to Will before the game. Says he's feeling good. He says when he starts swinging the bat well, he'll start wearing out right center field. And what do you know? His second at bat, remember he hit the ball deep to right center field. Not much going to happen in this ball yard, but he did hit it well. Outside, levels the count. Contrast that was just the 60th pitch for PV. Cashner got 60 in the third inning, middle of the third inning. High fly, shallow right. Bird comes in. 15 straight retired by PV.
All right, thank you, Mike. Bottom of the sixth, Alejandro Diazza, then Duffy and Posey against Espanye. And they're leaving Andrew Kashner. Diazza struck out, singled, and scored, and popped up. Five runs, nine hits for the Giants, all singles. One run on one hit. The Upton home run for the Padres. You know, speaking of that wild card, the uh, like the guys were just talking about Cubs, Pirates. I think I like the Pirates bullpen getting to Melanson more than I like the Cubs bullpen getting to their closer. That's going to be a big part of that uh, if there's going to be that game. If it, in fact those two teams looks like it's going to be. And you know what happened last year, the wild card team. Yep. These Giants. And they go on to win the the, the whole prize. The whole ball of wax. Where did that saying come from? They won the whole ball of wax. I don't know. That's one to look up. What do we got going here? Foul ball? Laz Diaz was. I think uh, Diaz thought he had swung and missed. And now he's walking back to the dugout. Why wasn't he allowed to run to first base? Let's see. Okay, breaking ball. Not even close to tipping it. And the bat. Oh, hits. Okay, the bat. Okay, judging by what I just saw, Laz Diaz was tapping the top of his yes, head, maybe yeah. because the uh, on the backswing with the catcher hitting the catcher. That uh, interfering for his chances to go get the ball. Correct. Salarte throws out Duffy two away. Now around the major leagues today, Colby Lewis of the Rangers, a four hitter in eight innings. He's now 18 and six. Jake Arrieta. What wow. a pitcher he is, huh? 19 and 6 now, and Zespedes continues toward hitting for the Mets. Three for five, a double and a homer, three more runs, 39 runs batted in, and 38 games with the Mets. He's carrying that team on his big shoulders, is he not? Incredible. And the Jake Arrieta, I'm telling you what, with the way he's swinging the ball at one game, you might, I'm, I'm throwing Jake Arrieta. I know John Lester's name's bandied about. He's the big agent, big free agent signee during the offseason, but I'll tell you what, going with the hot hand, Jake. Oh, uh, yeah, I agree. Why wouldn't you go with Arietta? And plus the running game, you know, Lester's got that thing about throwing to first base. If I had to choose right now, I'm going with Jake Arietta. Buster Posey, a walk, an RBI single, and a ground ball to short. That's in there. Two and one. With the base hit back in the third, he's hit safely now in his last 11 games, raising his average up to 330. Got a chance to win the batting title. Yep. Bryce Harper ahead of him. Two and two. The Giants last year they they beat Pittsburgh in the wild card. Then they took out Washington in the division series. The Cardinals won four out of five against the Cardinals in the NLCS, and then four three in seven games against the Royals. Twelve wins. Yep. Timing's everything, isn't it? It is. That we talked about Joe Panic. His contribution you know, comes up in midseason and hits 300. Played like a veteran in the World Series, not only with the bat, but made the, one of the great plays, that double play in game seven against Kansas City. Memorable. Sure was. Posey back up the middle. Spangenberg gets him. Might have touched Despagne for the moment. We'll call it 1 4 3. And Despagne, a 1 2 3 inning.
Ryan, a former Padre, and now on the mound for the Giants, Jake Peavy is not only known for his baseball skills, but as bullpen catcher, Justin Hatcher tells me he is also known for his theme park style ranch in Catherine, Alabama. It's a 6,000 acre ranch, and this ranch has a complete replica of Fenway Park, a basketball court, a lap pool, a private winery, and a bowling alley, along with some baseball featured lights. The Justin Hatcher says he goes with his son to visit it all the time. Jake Peavy built it originally for his four boys to learn how to hunt, to have the family over and just have a great time during the offseason. But now it's kind of become a place where all of his friends throughout the league have gone with their sons and learned how to hunt. <laughs> Thank you, Oliver. With a place like that, why would you ever want to leave the house to go hunting? Yeah. Got everything right there. It's an amusement park, theme park, Chateau. Yeah, the Padres like to get a base runner as Salarte leads off the seventh inning. 15 straight outs recorded by PV since Justin Upton led off the second inning with a home run. The only Padre hit. You know what I'm going to do tomorrow? I'm going to go up to Jake PV and I'll say, hey, learned a lot about your ranch last night. I dare you. I double dog dare you to put a roller coaster <laughs> on that ranch. <laughs> Yeah, the neighbors wouldn't complain. Would he? Six thousand acres? Would she say to him? Yeah. Remember, he has no neighbors. Jake, exactly. Jake was uh, on the member of the Boston Red Sox that won the World Series, right? So they took the parade around Boston in one of those duck boats, those amphibious. Yeah. Oh, and he bought one. He liked it so much he bought one. <laughs> Had it shipped back to Alabama. Yeah, he's got World Series rings each of the last two years. Boston two years ago, and then the Giants last year. One and two to Salarte, who has popped up and flied out tonight. Very efficient night. 65 pitches to get into the seventh inning. Kemp and Upton to follow. Salarte, 11 game hitting streak at on the line. Two and two. You know how time goes by so quickly when Jake Peavy was called up from double A to the big leagues. His pitching coach in double A was Darren Balsley. And I'm sure Darren Balsey is uh, it's just been a treat for him as well to see the progress that Jake's made in his big league career. Well, way out in front, that goes in the upper deck, deep down the right field line. About a hundred feet foul. Yeah, before I became involved with the Padres, as a fan of the San Diego Padres, watching games, mm -hmm. if PB was pitching, I'm watching. Sure, I loved it. Bulldog effect of this guy. High fly back of short, shallow and left. Diazza collects it. 16 straight batters. Well, tonight's cold hard facts are brought to you by Clean Crisp Coors Light. Padres record for most consecutive games reaching base safely. How about 56 straight games that Brian Klesko reached safely by hit or walk or hit batsman? That is the Padre record. Kept now has gone 30 straight. That's truly remarkable. Kemp has fly to right and struck out tonight. No free passes from PV. That's been part of the story tonight. Right in contrast to Kastner giving up five walks. His little cut fastball outside corner there. Perfectly placed. And Jake has found out through the course of time with all the injuries and losing the velocity of the fastball not to overthrow those pitches. You start to overthrow those pitches, they flatten out and they're left over the heart of the plate. It was a nice and easy delivery that last pitch. That ball hit well to center field. That'll chase Pagan back, 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 and oh my! What a catch! He took a home run away from Kemp. 
It was over the 399 marker, and Pagan times it perfectly to rob Kemp of a homer. That's a highlight catch tonight. It was over the fence. <laughs> oh, man, that's just bad luck. Even Kemp had to smile. That would have been number 22. Unbelievable. Somebody call the cops. That's highway robbery right there. He was in his home run trot. He tips his cap. Major League stroke and a major league catch by Pagan. That was beautiful. Mm. I think in many ways an outfielder gets a much bigger thrill out of robbing a home run than hitting a home run. <laughs> Two and one to Upton. But well, PB hasn't gone to many three ball counts tonight. I can't remember one. But there was a three in the early innings. Only three. Well, let's look at that catch from another angle. How far above the fence was he? Well above there and reaches over the top. Yeah, that would have that would have been a home run. Hmm. Was that your pick the stick selection again? <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah. Go out there and give the Pagan an earful. <laughs> And also the uh, consecutive getting on base here. Yeah. And he may not get another chance yeah. unless some Padres get on base here. There's one. A stroke to right field. He was fooled on the pitch but had enough left to just flick his wrist and single to right field. And that breaks the string of 17 straight outs stoned by Peavy. Both hits by Upton. All upper body. As Justin Upton recognizes this pitch, it's well off the plate and just all upper body and flicks the wrists. Foot is down and beats the shift. 5 1, the Giants lead. And there's a base hit, a big swing by Jerko, and Padres are back in the game. Marcus Mateo starts throwing in the Padre pin. Looks like in the uh, Giants bullpen, Hunter Strickland is throwing yeah. for the Giants. Jerko has fly to center and grounded to short. 91 on the fastball. PV still got some velocity. Even though he's thrown only 78 pitches, this is probably going to be it for PV. Finally having to work from the stretch. First time since the second inning. Well, actually, he didn't have to work then. First time in the game. Round ball to third. Easy play for Duffy. And that's it for the Padres. They get a hit. And they are robbed by Pagan of a home run. But on this 9 11, we invite you to stay with us here at ATT Park. God bless America. Always special in the hearts of our country. And on this day of remembrance, especially so. God bless America.
on this National Day of Remembrance. Please welcome retired San Francisco Police Sergeant Jerry Darcy. Bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam God bless America my home Sweet home, God bless America, my home, sweet. Remarkable defensive play authored by Angel Pagan to Rob Matt Kemp. As looks like the high field electric, he got his finger caught in the socket. <laughs> Brandon Belt leads off the seventh. Good one, Professor. <laughs> Bird to follow, and then uh, Kelby Tomlinson. Well, Odrisimir, despite he needs to throw up a zero quickly. Running out of outs. Bottom of the seventh. And that one will nub off to the left with a shift on. He's the only giant that does not have a hit. Rolled a dozen there in Arizona against the Dodgers. Arizona starts tonight 13 and a half behind the Dodgers. Five games from San Francisco. Two and one. Shattered bat, flared to center, base hit. 
So he joins the hit parade. That's how it goes. You break a guy's bat and he's able to nudge one over the infield for a hit. Meanwhile, you hit one 400 feet and you get for a home run and it's taken away by the opposition. Sometimes you're not supposed to win, I guess. You can't figure it out. Unbelievable. Great pitch by OD. Let's check it out. They're trying to work him inside. That's a slider. And listen to this snappage. Credit that man with a base hit. So everyone in the lineup with a hit. Bird with two, all singles. Bird single to left through the hole and found the hole on the right side for an RBI single the next time. Struck out against Kastner in the fifth. That's another hit. Not hit hard at all. Just a little balloon. There's a throw by Kemp to third. Might get him. And it's a perfect throw, not quite in time. Kemp who has 10 assists. I mean, you can't throw any better than that. Yep. Right on the money. He played that perfectly. Charging the ball, watch him charge it. Belt is watching. Kemp is coming up throwing. Close. That looked like you got that left foot on the outside of the bag just in time. So a couple of bloops, Belt and Bird for hits. First and third. For Despagne, what can you do? I made two good pitches and they've been yep. able to fight it off and dunk it into the outfield. Tomlinson been in the middle of a lot of action tonight and he grounds one nice stop by Myers. One out there and the run scores. It's six to one. But Myers took a hit away from Tomlinson. Really good effort by Will Myers. Off the bag, diving to his right. His momentum is going that way. Now he finds the handle. Still plenty of time. Remember, it's a force play. Fires a strike. Tomlinson is safe on his third fielder's choice tonight. He's stolen a couple of bases and he scored twice. He has an RBI is 14th. Adrianza two walks and an RBI single. Mateo throwing again in the Padre 10. So the Giants six runs on 11 singles tonight. Tomlinson has stolen twice. You can see how quick he is off the blocks. Might be uh, in line to try another PB. Has a bat. Doesn't mean he's going to hit, but to, for the moment he's still in the game. Bullpen is busy. It looks like Hunter Strickland is still up. Or no, I think that Gary. Hunter Strickland set down. Corey Gearing. With a five run lead, and the call ups getting a chance perhaps to pitch. Another base hit, another single, solid Adrianza. He's on base all four times two walks and two singles. Finally, they hit it hard. Tomlinson to second. And PV's called back, and that'll be it for him tonight. Seven two hit innings for PV. Looks like a little cut fast or something with just too much of the plate. Well, the Giants are fighting pitches off, getting base hits. Jared Parker just called up from the minor league triple A franchise in Sacramento. He's hitting 283 there with 23 home runs. In the driver's seat, Jake Peavy talking over with the big ragu, Dave Rigetti. Seven innings for Jake. No walks and two strikeouts. 
High deep drive to right center field way out there. How far does it go? It is bounce up and over. That would have been at least a triple. It'll be a ground rule double. One run will score. And Parker comes up to the big leagues and he sends a giant fly ball to deep right center field about a 410 foot double. That's the first extra base hit of the game. They had to go to the kid up from the minors to get it. It's another giant run and, seven to one and another pitch. It's just too fat. Too much of the plate and Jared Parker getting extended any other ballpark. This is probably a home run hitting it to the 421 area in a right center field. Tomlinson scoring for the third time uh, as the ball bounds into the bleachers. Adrianza over to third. Still only one out. Pagan the batter. Four hits in the inning that started with two bloop singles. Seven runs, 13 hits for the Giants. He struggled on the road trip, scoring runs. They're back home. But they have an excellent record 38 and 27. They've won 16 of their last 21 here at AT&T and looking mighty comfortable tonight with the bat. Infield in. Pagan one for four an RBI single. Well the six seven and eight hitters tonight for the Giants reach safely 11 or 12. Was played appearances. Let's do some damage to the bottom of the lineup. Everyone is chipped in. Including two hits out of the ninth spot in the batting order. PV and the pinch hitter Parker. Tomlinson with the three fielders choices and the single has scored three runs. Derek Norwich has saved a run. 3 0, first base open. Three balls and a strike to the leadoff man Pagan with Diazza next. Lots of base traffic tonight. 13 hits, five walks for the Giants. Myers checks the runner at third and gets the unassisted out. Two away. Well, as we promised you earlier, and we always keep our promises. We have the tonight's T-Mobile strongest fan photo. Tweet your fan photo. Hashtag SD Data Strong Fan for a chance to be shown in the broadcast. And it's brought to you by T-Mobile. And Kim, thank you. At Kimberly Love E. Thank you very much. Viazza, a single in four advance. He struck out a couple of times. Adrianza and Parker in scoring position here in the seventh with two runs in. Giants a 3 7 road trip. Padres also uh, last 10 games are 3 and 7. Swing and a miss. 
two and two. Good yacker by Despagne on that one. Thought it was low. Watch out. Oh, just finding the first row. And Jason to the bullpen for the Giants. Doesn't get any easier tomorrow as the Padres have to face 17 game winner Madison Bumgarner. Ian Kennedy gets the call for San Diego. 5 30 for Padres Live, the pregame show. And apparently that, that ball four did it hit him. Either way, he's on base. Ball four. So that loads him up. For Matt Duffy. First walk from Despagne. Uh, disappointing to see the way that this game is going. Game one of the series against the Giants. We just stop the bleeding right here. Matt Duffy likes it uh, with runners in scoring position. 369 overall. Even runners on base at 332. Two outs with runners in scoring position. That's clutch hitting for the mm -hmm. youngster. And that's why they love him. And he's got the bases full here. One and one the count. Only 24. Duffy. Hitting 299 at the start. A walk and a single one for three tonight. Another ball in the dirt. Two and one. Well, Odrisa Despagne, he needs to make an adjustment some way, shape, or form because he's given up 19 hits to his last 42 batters face going back. That's a 452 opponent's batting average. Gotta make an adjustment. I think sometimes he has a tendency to maybe get a little bit too cute and not really trust his fastball. There's another base hit. Duffy goes the opposite field. Kemp up with the ball. Here comes his throw into the plate. Not in time. Two more score. It's nine to one. And the route continues. Well, that's true to form. Duffy with runners in scoring position delivers his 67th and 68th RBI. Adrianza and Parker scoring. You know, after talking with Bruce Bochy and watching Matt Duffy work that shillelagh, you can exactly know what Bruce Bochy means by saying he uses the whole field. He doesn't try to do too much. He doesn't have that powerful of a swing. He takes what's given to him and just takes it that way. That's exactly what happened that at bat. And you can see it. Pat Murphy to the mound. He's got Marcus Mateo ready if he wants to make a pitching change. And he will. As the Giants have hit around here in the seventh inning, and they've got two men on for Buster Posey when we return.
Braves baseball brought to you by Mercury Insurance. Log on to mercuryinsurance.com today and see how much you could save. By Petco, what we feed them matters. And by RCP Block and Brick. Start your outdoor project at rcpblock.com. With Mark Rand and Allie Sturm, Dick Enberg back at AT&T Park. The Giants pouring it on. Four run inning to make it a 9 1 game, and Mateo replaces Despagne. Posey up with runners at first and third. Nine runs, 14 hits for the Giants. One run, two hits off Jake Peavy in seven innings for the Padres. Both hits by Justin Upton, won a home run. Ball two. Posey walked. RBI single in the third and is grounded out twice. Marcus Mateo needs to make a pitch here. Leave those runners out there. Wheels are coming off here in the seventh. Posey to right. Kemp is there. So nine men come to the plate for them score here in the Giants seventh. And the Padres trail by eight. All right, thank you, Michael. Here we go. Eighth inning, new pitcher, Corey Guerin, Guerin for the Giants. 29 year old just called up uh, last week, and he'll face De De uh, Derek Norris, the pitcher's spot, and Corey Spangenberg. He's a short arm slinger, Guerin. Fastball slider changeup. Look at his arm action here. Got a low three quarter little slider there. We'll top out about 94. His average is about 92. Alex Dickerson is in the on deck circle. And will hit for the pitcher. And as a river cat, you see his numbers 33 games for the right hander. Nice ERA. More strikeouts than innings pitched.
And for the Giants left hander Javier Lopez is heating up. And John Edwards in the right field bullpen for the Padres. Norris struck out. Good play made by the shortstop Adrianza deep in the hole to throw him out the last time. Garen made his big league debut four years ago with Atlanta. There's Edwards. This is his uh, first appearance as a giant. Right back to the mound, a comebacker, and he takes care of business. One three. And tomorrow, 5.30 here on Fox Sports San Diego, here's the matchup, Ian Kennedy for the Padres. Pitch much better than his 8 and 13 record would reflect. And he'll have to go after the 17 game winner, Madison Bumgarner, not only with the arm, but with the bat. He's got five home runs this year. Kennedy, Bumgarner tomorrow at 5.30. That'll all be part of our our telethon as well and we'll continue to update all the news as to the donations so stay with us from two o'clock on tomorrow. Now Dickerson one of the call ups had a good season in the minor leagues hit over 300 12 homers at El Paso. Up briefly in earlier in the season got a base hit. One and one. It's likely these two have met in the, the Pacific Coast League this season. As always, our closed captioning for tonight's game brought to you by Wiener Schnitzel. Local lad Dickerson from Poway High School. Looks like he uses a big piece of timber up there. Yeah. Thin handle. And looks at strike three. Garen gets the first two hitters on a comeback or in a strikeout. That'll bring up Spangenberg or a pinch hitter. There's the Hall of Famer John Miller, the voice of the Giants. Hall of Famer to the left of me, Hall of Famer to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> Giants lead 9 to 1. Jake Peavy, one heck of an outing for the veteran right hander. And that'll be it for Garen. Bruce Bochy to the mound. And a rousing applause for the young rookie right hander. Top of the eighth. Pitching change from 18 to 5. And we'll be back right after this. John Miller. <laughs>
Javier Lopez comes in to pitch to Corey Spangenberg. Apparently Lopez hasn't had much uh, work of late because this is a surprising move in a nine to one game. No one on base and he will stop the action to go get the veteran left hander who's had a terrific season. This is his 66th appearance. He hasn't pitched uh, for five days so that's exactly the reason they just want to get some of the rust knocked off. Yeah one of those uh, Tony La Russa moves huh. Not necessarily like you said you need some work. Been a reliable. Mm -hmm. Left hander out of the pen to get that one out the left handed batter. Yeah Bruce Bochy likes to carry a couple or maybe even three left handers in that bullpen it's been very successful. Run for him. Leda Pardia is pointing at something in center field with her. It's a light out there. That video board was on so they turned that off. Spangenberg entered the game. And he's able to slap one. He's done that rather well, hasn't he? Going the opposite way past third base. He has that third baseman off the line. Yep. And uh, the win the other night against Colorado, his double in exactly the same spot. Third hit for the Padres. And uh, let's. Spangenberg is picked off or thrown out. It looks like Kemp will get one more at bat in the ninth inning to try to extend his string to 31. Jankowski, 0 for 2, popped a short, flied to left, foul territory. High chopper right at the bag, but a foul ball. Mero Petit, the bulky right hander, goes down to the bullpen. So it appears that uh, Lopez is just here to pitch to the two left handers, Spangenberg and Jankowski. One and two. Once again, another argument why I dislike the expansion of the rosters. I'll mention it again, keep it a 25 rotating roster. Each night has an active hot roster of 25 men. Bends that one just off the plate, two and two. That's the way it happens from April till end of August. Why not just keep it the same? And um, it's the only sport that does it, expands the rosters. And under your operation, Garen still would have gotten the chance to pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that's it for the Padres in the top of the eighth. They finally get another hit and leave uh, Spangenberg. We go to the bottom of the eighth, nine to one.
First, an encore edition of Behind the Bolt with Nick Hardwick and the debut of Chargers Insider. Then, an all-new Padres POV. Will Farrell gives us a sneak peek of his HBO documentary, Farrell Takes the Field. In fact, I got to play in the outfield next to Will Meyer here, my last game of the night, and uh, I carried him. That's right, Padres POV is debuting a new episode right after Padres Live. We have Will Farrell at Petco Park where we learn all about his documentary that's debuting on HBO. It's for um, Will Farrell Takes the Field. We also have the boom crew, the drumming sensations of Petco Park. And I was able to also take a comedy tour throughout San Diego. We do some improv, some stand-up comedy. And the entire time, Mark Grant, I was just wishing you were there. Uh, you know, I wish I was too. I'm a big fan of uh, Will Ferrell, and uh, not only a big fan of his work, but what he does off the field and awareness for uh, what he did with that documentary, raising awareness and money. So I'm a big fan, huge fan. We're going to meet down by the quad later. John Edwards comes in to pitch here in the bottom of the eighth. That was Belt flying out to left field. Marlon Bird has three of the 14 hits tonight for the Giants. And he's knocked in a run. Edwards makes his third appearance. Acquired from the Rangers in the Will Venable trade. Two and oh the count. Then Barmas comes in to play shortstop, and Rocky Gale is now the catcher for San Diego. Two and one. Hot race scored first. The Justin Upton home run back in the second inning off Jake Peavy. A long shot to left field. He is 25th. And since then, it's just been a cascade of base runners and scores for the Giants. One in the second, two in the third, two in the fifth, four in the seventh. And ball four. Another giant base runner. This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the San Diego Padres. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the San Diego Padres. That's a seventh walk from Padre pitching to go with the 14 hits. Kelby Tomlinson has scored three times tonight. He's one for four, three. Fielder's choice at bats and came around to score on all three. So that's a pretty productive one for four night. Knocking in a run and uh, scoring four, even though you went one for four. You know? Edwards a power arm an outfielder that has been converted into a pitcher worked his way through independent baseball fly ball shallow up comes Kemp for the second out here's Adrianza the number eight hitter the shortstop with Brandon Crawford uh, suffering from an oblique injury. Andrianza jumps in, two walks, two singles, been on base all four times, knocked in a run, scored a run. That's a little tight breaking ball right there from John Edwards. Call it a cutter, call it a slider. Mid 90s on the fastball.
Bird at first. Myers not holding him on. He outside. One and two. Bike to the breeze here tonight. San Francisco yeah. typical evening. Cool. That's in there. A strike three, and he knew it. On to the ninth inning here at ATT. The Padres will bat from the top of the order, and Camp will get another chance. The AL East leading Blue Jays take on the wild card leading Yankees, and then you'll see Cleveland, and they go after uh, the Tigers. You'll only see that on Fox Sports One, and coverage begins early, 9:30 a.m. here on the Pacific Coast on Fox, and 4 p.m. Pacific on Fox Sports One, streaming live also on Fox Sports Go, and then of course at 5:30 we begin our coverage of Game Two of this three-game series. Well, Bruce Bochy. Has elected to bring in his son to pitch the ninth inning. Grew up uh, well. Bruce was the manager for the Padres, and his son Brett on the mound that just called up from uh, the AAA club. Here are the father-son manager players. Interesting yeah. list. Yeah, and also the first pitcher as far as a, a manager being the father of a pitcher in the big leagues. Brett Bochy. Will Myers. First batter Bochi faces. Gosh, I remember Brett roaming around the clubhouse with the Padres when Bruce and I were teammates with the Padres. How time flies. Three games last year for Brett. Put up some pretty decent numbers, Dick, in AAA for the Sacramento River Cats this year. 43 relief outings. They had a 2.95 ERA at a 6 and 1 record. Spent the entire year at Sacramento. Goodness, he's now 28 years of age, Brett. On the outside corner, one and two. UK, University of Kansas. For Brett. KU. Oh, KU is it? If, you, if you're a Jayhawker, you, it's KU. Ah. Just like, I mean, it's tough if you're not from the Midwest, like Indiana, people want to say. UI, it right. isn't. That's Illinois. Ah. IU is Indiana. I got you. UK is Kentucky. So ah, they're KU. Wildcats. Shows you know how much I know. Yeah, hockey's a tough sport. <laughs> Low. And a full count. Myers has flied twice to right and grounded to short tonight. Padres hit the ball. They only struck out twice facing PB in seven innings. They couldn't get any uh, away from the gloves of the Giants. Especially 
Angel Pagan making that home run robbing catch in center. I'll be back in the crowd. Forty one thousand six hundred twenty one at AT and T. The sellout consecutive run three hundred and ninety three games now. Line to short. It's just that kind of night. Yep. Hit it hard for an out. Well, Jake Peavy for the Giants tonight, seven solid innings. He only gave up two hits, one run. That being a home run off the bat of Justin Upton. But what did he have working? Hitting both sides of the plate and athletic ability on the mound as well, helping himself out. Staying out of the heart of the plate, only touching 90 91 on the fastball, and then helping himself going to right field with an RBI. Jake yes. Peavy, two strikeouts tonight. Got the job done. Only two hits allowed, both by Upton. Here's Jan Salarte fly twice to left field and pop to short. So all three balls going the opposite field. And Matt Kemp will get another chance to extend his on base string. He's on deck. Lifted high in the air, shallow and right. Three giants surrounded. Right fielder Bird makes the catch. Padres down to their final up. And it's easy tonight. Our Bill Hall play of the game. Matt Kim driving it. What he thought would be another home run. And Angel Pagan climbing the wall in center and robbing him of the home run that would have raised his count to 22 on the year. Even uh, Matt had to smile at the success of Pagan. Everyone's smiling. The good and the bad. Now well, here's Kemp, another chance. Take strike one. How about our keys to the game? Well, he didn't do well. Get the lead on PV early. One nothing lead after the top, but the Giants uh, they added on and 0 for three for Matt Kemp. No RBI for Kemp. They're 24 and two. Hawking was two for three though with a home run. Brought to you by our Honda dealers of San Diego. So it's a sellout crowd. What's left of them? Rise is one. Down to the final strike. Kemp trying to get a base hit here. Padres had three, two by Upton and Spangenberg the other. Lays off the breaking ball. Camp has had this wonderful string going all the way back to August 7th in Philadelphia. Every game since, it, on base at least once. Should have been tonight. The gun robbed him. Still got a chance. Two and two. And there it is. 31 games in a row. A solid single up the middle. And it's a battle. And Kemp. Showing his uh, good sportsmanship, smiling at his bad luck with the Pagan Robin of a home run, comes back and a solid single up the middle. Forget about the last at bat, forget about getting robbed and putting a good a swing, a good at bat. One thing to cheer about tonight is extending that streak for Matt Kemp. Good for Matty. Yeah, tease it up for tomorrow. Yeah. Justin Upton, the home run and a single to right. Two of the four hits. Oh, hit in the back. And breaking ball, only 78 miles an hour. Kemp to second. That'll bring up Jerko. 
It's one of those breaking balls that just gets away. Now get that release point out in front and Justin Upton turning the right way, turning into the catcher. And a father is going to go out to visit son and then a nine to one game. Is he going to make a pitching change? Or is he just going to go out and try to settle down his his son Brett? Petit is going in the bullpen. Ah, a relief. Even the fans applaud that. They well, I think Boats told him, if you don't get this guy out, no milk and cookies and no video yeah, games. There you go. Go straight yeah. to bed after the That's game. Right. And you got to mow the lawn tomorrow. Yeah. Take out the trash. Brett Wallace is on deck. Jerko is 0 for 3. Flight out and grounded out twice. Bo Chi they chant. Two outs. Padres trying to put a dent in that 9 1 giant lead. One and one. Red Wallace has just been superb. Even when he's made an out, he's crushed the ball. Should have had a home run yesterday. And down to the final strike again. When you play in front of the sellout crowd every night, every night, now for what, five, six seasons? Yep. No wonder they have a good home record. They're pushed hard by these fans. Another foul. When he pitches now for Bochi. Jerko spoiling another. And making a couple of fans happy in the process. Swing and a miss, strike three, and the ball game is over. Giants nine, Padres one. Here's Mike Pomerantz.